Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm not really sure what this is, it's not really a wave is it, I just kind of go... Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do another video where I talk about products that I've actually used up. So products that I've actually liked enough to use up the whole thing. I've done one of these videos, I think it was about a year ago, back when I was living with my parents, and you guys seem to quite enjoy it. I think these videos are quite helpful to see what people have actually been loving and using, and you know, whether or not I would repurchase it if I wouldn't repurchase it. I've got a full basket of stuff here. Well, I was gonna say that I've been collecting and saving, however there were a few products that I kind of forgot that I was planning to do this video and I ended up throwing them away but I can tell you what they are there are some products in here that have got like a little tiny dribble left in them and I thought I would show you anyway because I'm about to use them up so let's just dive in to my basket. If you guys like me and you like my channel, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe or if you don't wanna subscribe, give me a thumbs up and please let me know down below what products have you used up recently because I am always open to suggestions and recommendations. So if you have used anything up recently, let me know what it was and if you would repurchase it. I've got skincare stuff, I've got hair stuff, I've got body stuff, I've got makeup, I've got a mixture of every kind of beauty product. Where do I begin? So I guess I will start with the skincare stuff. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is because I want to put this down because it doesn't have the lid and there's some like water in the bottom of this. I tried washing it out but it's probably gonna get on something. I don't know where the lid went or why I took it off. I think I was trying to scrape out the last bit of product of this. The lid ended up getting thrown away but it did come with a pump which is really handy and this is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar H Derma Soothing Hydrating Cleansing Cream. I love La Roche-Posay stuff because I think a lot of it is targeted towards oily skin and a lot of it is kind of targeted towards sensitive skin I think. That being said I do have sensitive skin and I have to say I haven't had any issues with this stuff. I don't really know what any of the writing on the front of it means and I don't really know what it's supposed to do. Oh, it says on the back, gently cleanses, purifies and soothes skin's feel to restore comfort. Tested under dermatological control, anti-friction, blah, 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 blah. You wet your face, squeeze a bit of this out onto your hand, like one pump, rub it in. It doesn't really foam up that much, but it doesn't dry out your skin. It doesn't strip your skin. I really, really like this. Would I repurchase it? Yes, definitely. It's just a basic cleanser that I think did a really good job at not leaving my skin feeling greasy, but also not like feeling like I've completely stripped it. Because I've kind of had to change my skincare products a lot recently because of my like recent eczema flare up. Yeah, so it used to just be on my eyes that would get irritated, but now it's like, at the moment, it's not really my eyes, it's more like patches on my cheeks and my eyebrows. I did try and book a, an appointment with my GP over like the phone, like a video call. Cause yesterday when I woke up, my skin was really bad and I was having a massive flare up all over my cheeks and it was so unbearably itchy. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna book another doctor's appointment. I know before they just kind of like, almost like fobbed me off. So I want to speak to my GP again so they can refer me to a dermatologist. But yeah, I tried to book an appointment yesterday when my skin was really bad so that I could show them what was wrong with my face and there were no appointments available till Monday so I just kind of left it. Anyway, this is really nice stuff. <laughs> I'm 99% sure I figured out what's wrong with my skin by the way because I have all of the exact symptoms of it. It's called seboric dermatitis. Seboric dermatitis is eczema that mainly affects the sebaceous glands of your face so like the areas where you get the most oil which for me is my cheek and like my nose, my eyelids get really oily, my eyebrows, and those are the areas where I keep getting this like eczema flare up. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I just need to speak to a dermatologist to try and, you know, help me or whatever. Some days it's gone, some days it's flared up again. It's just like a bit of a roller coaster, but it's whatever. The next skincare product that I completely used up is another one that um, I was gonna say I would repurchase this. I've actually got another brand new bottle here. This is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. This stuff is actually really good for my current skin conditions because when researching about this like Sebderm, which is like the shortened version of it, a lot of people say that you should use zinc because it's good at kind of like killing bacteria on your face. I think I could be wrong. Don't take what I'm saying as advice. But for a start, niacinamide is one of my favorite skincare ingredients that I find that my skin really gets on with because it's supposed to be good for like controlling oily skin. I'm not really sure how it does it, but I really find that this makes my skin look extra smooth. And some people say that niacinamide is supposed to like shrink your pores. I don't think it can actually shrink your pores, but it can kind of reduce the appearance of them, I think. I don't know. I find that when I use this consistently, it makes my skin look really smooth. So yes, I really like this, and yes, I repurchased it. I've got a new one week.
waiting for me. I usually would just use this either in the mornings or in the evenings, like once a day when I kind of remember. Another skincare product that I completely used up is the Evolve Organic Beauty Hyaluronic Serum. I think this is just pure hyaluronic acid serum. It says on it 99% natural, 36% organic. I'm not sure what else is in this, but again, hyaluronic acid is one of my another one of my favorite skincare ingredients. Products that I tend to find work really well on my skin. Anything with niacinamide, anything with hyaluronic acid, vitamin C I really like as an ingredient as well. Ceramides, I find products with ceramides in work really well on my skin as well. So those are the sort of things that I look out for. But this I actually think I got in the Holland and Barrett Christmas Advent Calendar. I think that's where this came from. So it's just a little sample size. This is really nice. It's just hyaluronic acid, just a really nice serum that sort of feels like it's hydrating your face, but it's not heavy and it's not oily. It just kind of leaves your skin sort of tacky. And I found that if I put this on in the evenings and then put a bit of my CeraVe moisturizer over the top of it, it kind of locked in all the moisture. And when I wake up in the morning, my skin felt a lot more hydrated. So would I repurchase this? Yes, I don't actually know. I bet this is probably really expensive. You know what's the really strange thing though? I've tried a lot of different hyaluronic acid serums that all claim to just be hyaluronic acid, but some of them I find sort of leave me with little bumps on my skin and others I find don't at all. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if every brand's hyaluronic acid serum is different. I'm currently using a L'Oreal one actually, and that one is totally fine. It actually feels very, very similar to this. Okay, this one is 30 pounds for, I'm assuming it's for, that's for 30 mil. Yeah. You know what? I did actually really like this. This was just a little 10 milliliter sample. I probably would pay that again for it because I did really like it and I didn't find it irritated my skin at all. Because like I said, it's all like natural ingredients. So I do really like it. This is what the packaging and sort of logo looks like. It's just very understated in the little glass bottle. Okay, so the next thing, I know that the full size of this is really expensive, but I do wanna mention it because it is really nice. And in case anybody has been, you know, looking at reviews of this and they're wondering if it's any good, this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. As you can see, I completely used mine up. Again, don't know where the lid went, but this I have completely used up. This was just, again, a little sample size that I think I got in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. It was either the Glossy Box one or the Look Fantastic one. And this was just their small size, which is 20 grams. I actually think this size would be really good for taking on holiday and I have to say it did actually last me a really good amount of time because you just the way that I can describe how much of this I need to remove my makeup is like a scoop of the back of my fingernail but oh my god this is amazing for removing makeup again it doesn't sting my eyes at all and it really just melts off your makeup even really heavy eye makeup it just melts it however I think the full size of this is like in the 40 pound mark it is expensive stuff and there are cheaper alternatives like for example there's the body shop chamomile butter cleansing butter balm what, what is it called cleansing butter I think the body shop one is really nice and I would say that it's a good dupe of this one however I would say that this one just works a tiny little bit better but then it is like twice the price so yeah, yeah they're both nice I definitely would repurchase the small size again because it would be really good for like going on holiday and stuff and I have to say I'm also using the Elemis marine cream and that is also really really nice they're expensive products but it's like good shit and I find sometimes with my skincare some of them are expensive products that I use on my skin I really notice a difference with them so yeah I don't know if you have been wanting to try this and you're wondering if it's any good and you were gonna buy it anyway but just wanted somebody to push you over the edge here is your push because I think it's really nice <laughs> okay so a toner actually is this even a toner this is the SVR sepia clear micro peel and this has got niacinamide 4% and lactobionic acid so this is a on un unclogging smoothing renewal water which is supposed to target pores blackheads and spots. This is really, really nice and I am just about to finish this up almost. I like the packaging as well. I don't actually know where this came from. I think I got sent it as part of a skincare box or something. Let me have a look. I find that it works very similarly to the, what's it called? The Ren AHA toner. Is that what that's even called? You guys know the one I mean. You know the Ren one that's like orange and it's a toner and everybody loves it. I love it. I think it's amazing. This is very similar to that but I find that this one is a little bit less harsh and this is £15 which isn't too bad. I mean obviously it's not like cheap but it's not super expensive. I just use this with a cotton pad after I've removed my makeup and cleansed my skin and I just find that it leaves my skin feeling really like smooth and tight and sort of kind of exfoliates the dead skin off of my nose. So that's why when it says it's a micro peel it's like a chemical exfoliant rather than a physical exfoliant which I definitely do prefer yeah it's really nice stuff I really like it and I'm about to finish this off so that's a good one and again that's lasting me a long time because I've been using that since before Christmas I'm sure and then finally another um skincare I think this is the last for my skincare stuff that I'm 
about to use up. I've just got a tiny bit left. This is the Kiko Pure Clean Micellar Water. I don't really have anything that spectacular to say about this. It's just a very bog standard micellar water. Does the job. Every single micellar water that I've tried really has kind of worked the same sort of way. So yeah, I do like it. It's very affordable. Kiko are obviously more known for their makeup stuff, but this is actually really nice. It's the first skincare thing I've tried by them. Um, works really well to remove my makeup. Can't really complain. The hair section of this video is going to be pretty quick. I've used up another 5 million Batiste dry shampoos. I love the Batiste dry shampoo. I think I've mentioned this loads of times in videos before. Their dry shampoo is my favourite because it's really cheap. It does the job. Um, I know that some people don't like it because it leaves white in your hair, but if you if you flip your head upside down and really rub it in and then brush it out, I don't have an issue with that. I, I guess unless your hair is like really dark brown, then you might struggle. But for me, because my hair is quite light, I find it works perfectly fine. And my favourite scent is the tropical one. Actually, no, my favourite scent they ever did was like the pride one that they did last year I think. Oh my god that smelled unreal. But yeah the tropical one is probably the nicest out of like the bog standard ones they sell. Actually I quite like the cherry one as well. Doesn't really smell of cherries, it just smells sweet. I really like it, gone through another few of those. But then also going a little bit more upmarket with my dry shampoo, I also finished the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. And I've got to say, I think this is about £20 a can, whereas the Batiste one is like £3 a can. This is really nice. I do actually really like it. The first few times I tried this, I wasn't really sure on it and I kind of felt like it didn't do that much to my hair. But when I recently ran out of my Batiste one, I was like, you know what? I've got a can of this sitting around. I'm going to use it again, see if I can use it up. And I do actually really like it. The good thing about this is it doesn't leave that white in your hair. It does do a really good job at absorbing the oil. And this says it actually cleans your hair, eliminates oil, sweat and odour, and it's supposed to leave your hair looking like you've washed it, which I wouldn't quite agree with, but it does a really good job. It's nice stuff, it's just expensive, and I think for that reason, I would choose Batiste over it. But it is really good if you don't like the white stuff in your hair and you're willing to pay a little bit more. It's nice dry shampoo, smells nice as well, so that's good. These are both conditioners actually. This is the Cake Naturally Luxe Beauty Big Wig Thickening Volume Conditioner. Oh my god, these, these cake hair products smell so nice. I'm actually very, very close to using up the shampoo of this as well because I had them both together. It's a nice conditioner. I wouldn't say that it's mind blowing. To be honest, with a lot of hair products, I don't know, I just kind of use them and switch them up all the time because I'm lucky enough to be sent quite a lot of hair stuff um, and I just kind of swap things in and out. This is nice. I do like it. I think it's, um, what does it say on here? It is cruelty free and vegan. I think it's sulfate free. Pretty sure it's sulfate free. Is it? I could be wrong. It says it's got sunflower seed oil, rice protein and shea butter. I do really like the shampoo and conditioner combo. They smell really nice. They make my hair feel really nice. Yeah, I would recommend it. Wouldn't necessarily repurchase it right now because I don't think it like stands out drastically compared to other hair stuff that I'm using, but it is really nice stuff. I've just got a lot of stuff that I need to use up so I won't be repurchasing it but it is really nice stuff. I've also got the OGX Hydrate and Repair Eigen, Eigen? Eigen oil. <laughs> Argan oil of Morocco hair mask. This is nice. I'm also using the shampoo and conditioner of this at the moment, which again are really nice. I think these are also sulfate free, but this hair mask was really nice. Made my hair feel really soft and my camera's just decided to hate me. Cool. You're supposed to autofocus. Come on. There we go. Just looks like this. And yeah, I literally use this completely up. Smells all right. Doesn't smell like wow, but it smells fresh. Um, And it works really, really nicely. And like I said, I also really like the shampoo and conditioner of this. I've also got their uh, apple cider vinegar range downstairs that I need to try. Final thing for hair that I'm about to use up, and I think I mentioned this on my stories, and I said I would do an update if I did like it. This is the L'Oreal Dream Length Wonder Water. So many people did ads with this, um, and I did get sent it, but I thought, you know what, I'll just try it, I'll give it a go, I'll incorporate it into my hair routine. And I have to say, I don't actually know what this is, right? But what you do is once you have shampooed your hair, you just take some of this, like twist the nozzle, obviously I'm not gonna do it now. You squeeze some of this on your hair, and it's got like the doses on the back of how much you should squeeze. So it has lasted a good few washes, because I actually only wash my hair around once a week. I've just been in that routine for years now, but I do actually really like it. So you just like put it in your wet hair, massage it in for eight seconds, then rinse it out, and then you can use conditioner afterwards, which is what I've been doing. And it leaves your hair feeling so soft and smooth. And I don't know why, I don't know what's in this, I don't know how it works, but it does make your hair feel really soft. Although I now feel like my hair's sort of gotten used to it after I use it every single wash. But I don't notice as much difference now as when I first used it, but it's still, it's like it really detangles your hair. If anything, it's just really good for like detangling my hair with my fingers in the shower. So yeah, I do like it. I do think it's good. Don't know how it works, kind of freaky, but it's cool. Cool. it's good, it makes your hair feel soft. 
I wouldn't necessarily say I noticed a difference in shine because the ends of my hair are so dead that like you can't really get much shine out of them. <laughs> okay, last non-makeup product before I move on to makeup. This is something that I had finished a bottle of, decided to throw it away because I'm an idiot, but I do have another one that I've also, I don't know, I don't know how I opened so many bottles of this at the same time. I've got, well, I guess because I've done, to be fair, I've done quite a few ads with Tanologist. So I have multiple bottles just kicking about and clearly like, I don't know, lost one in the process of moving and then found it again. But I did use up a full Tanologist self-tan dark water. I've also nearly used up a bottle of the mousse, which is pretty much the same stuff. They work both the same in my opinion, like in terms of the color, but they just, you know, a different application. I do actually think I slightly prefer the water, but I, ha I haven't even said what this is. This is the Tanologist self-tan water in dark. And the best thing about this tan is that it doesn't have a color, which could be a negative for some people because you can't see where you've put it. But I'm so used to putting this on now, I just make sure that I cover all aspects of my body. Aspects? All parts of my body? But this is a really nice tan. It's pretty affordable. Superdrug always seem to have offers on this. And yeah, I love that it doesn't have a guide color because it doesn't like stain your sheets and look like a bloodbath murder crime scene because <laughs> there are some tans that i've tried where they go pink after like the guide color comes off pink on your bed sheets and it just is a mess this isn't a mess which is great and that's what i love the best about it and yeah it says that you can leave it on for one hour two hour three hours or four hours i usually leave this on for about eight hours or i leave it on overnight would i repurchase this yes there's quite a few tan brands that i really like like tanologist i love bondi sands i love saint moritz i love what's that really expensive one that everyone uses loving tan also really nice, but this one is really good because it's clear, so yeah. Finally, moving on to makeup. Something that I finally used up every single last bit of is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Butter. I absolutely loved this powder. And yes, I would definitely repurchase this if I didn't have so many other powders that I want to use up, but this powder is so nice. It just set my face really nicely. It didn't feel too cakey or heavy. It was a really nice color. The packaging is a bit bulky, so it was a bit of a pain to kind of take places with you, but yeah. I mean, there's like a couple of specks coming out here, but it's a really, really nice loose powder. I love Fenty. Everything that I try from Fenty is just good. So that's that. A mascara that I fully used up and then threw away a couple days ago and then was like, damn it, Soph. And then we took the bins out and I was like, it's too late, it's too late. But I do have another one of these mascaras to show you um, because I've got multiple of these. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I did throw away my original one of these. This is like a half used one because for some reason I had two on the go at the same time. But again, I've spoken about this mascara a lot on my channel. Um, it's got a really nice sort of natural bristle brush. The bristles grip your lashes really nicely it gives really nice length really nice volume actually i think when this first came out i did a i think i've done a full video on this mascara but still to this day it's one of my faves and yeah i did use up one the other day similar story with throwing things away so the other day when i was clearing up my makeup i just got frustrated with the amount of stuff i had and i threw quite a few things away but i finally threw away one of my it cosmetics superhero liners that i was holding on to right till the very end and it was literally like run out pretty much almost completely but i was trying to get every Every last drop out of it possible but the it cosmetics superhero liner this is my second one that i've got which is also nearly dead it's pretty much exactly the same as the kvd tattoo liner in my opinion they're both really nice they're both the same price they've got like the little bristles rather than a felt tip really black stays on really well i'm pretty sure this is waterproof it's just a really good black liner would i repurchase this yes i probably would pick the kvd one over this only because of the packaging because the packaging of this one is a bit more bulky the kvd one is a bit more slimline but other than that they're pretty much exactly the same i just realized that i missed a skincare slash body product these are the tanal tanologist tanologist self-tan drops in medium i've just got to apologize for the state of this packaging like i I could have cleaned it. I could have cleaned it before I showed it to you. It's got like tan all over the back of it. But I finally used up a full one of these. These lasted me a long time. But again, like I mentioned, I have done ads with Tanologists in the past. This is not an ad. I don't have any sort of affiliation with them or ongoing contract or anything. But these are really nice for tanning your face, mixing in with your moisturizer. Strange thing is though, I find that the medium drops go as dark as the dark water. So I use medium on my face and dark on my body. It just works really well. Does does the job. Definitely will repurchase these. I do have a backup already. And then I think the final things in this video, which I used up coincidentally all kind of around the same time. 
time. These are some Benefit brow products. I used to work with Benefit, so like last year, I had an ongoing contract with them. I don't have that anymore. So again, this is not sponsored. I'm just saying that I use these products up because they're really good. 24 hour brow setter. This took me a long time to actually use up because there's so, I feel like there's a lot of product in here and you don't need that much of it. Um, but yeah, finally got through a 24 hour brow setter, which is a really good clear brow gel. Also my gimme brow, like look at the state. Look at the state of the packaging of this. It is all rubbed off and it looks horrible. This is in the shade three. I mean, there's actual like bits of fluff. There's eyebrow hairs in here. It's pretty much, okay, no, there's like a little bit left in here, but it's pretty much dead to the point where when I put it on my eyebrows, it doesn't really like show up that much because I have really had to like scrape around the edges. And then finally, I've got the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5, which as you can see, completely gone and is gonna have to go in the bin. Shade 3.5 I think is my favorite. Sometimes I use four if I want my brows a bit darker, but 3.5 is the one that I think is the best match. And I think those are all the products that I've used up recently. So I hope this was useful slash interesting. I guess some of these things I've never spoken about before on my channel or anywhere. So it's quite nice for me to sort of show you things, especially skincare stuff that I don't really talk about. That I think I was just halfway through a sentence and then my camera ran out of memory, but I'm back. Can't remember what I'm saying, but but I'm now just gonna answer a question of the day. As always, if you guys have got any questions for me, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day and I might answer it in my next video. <laughs> Today's question. Oh, and something else that I forgot to mention that I have been using on my skin is Dermatica, which is like a monthly prescription that you can get online and it's like made by doctors. That has been amazing and really, really helped with my skin. It is 20 pound a month, so it is quite expensive, but honestly that I feel like completely changed my skin. In. And no, that's not what I was reacting to because I've had these eczema issues for the past like two years now I didn't have this eczema problem for like the first month that I was using Dermatica My skin was just amazing with it. Um, so I did use up those as well So today's question comes from Monica H and she said ah, oh, thanks for the regular uploads the last few weeks You're such a gem and makes study breaks a little bit easier. Thank you Um, I'm glad that you've been appreciating my uploads question of the day What is something you did pre-covid that you couldn't imagine doing now? I'm constantly watching tv shows and movies and going oop couldn't be doing that now. <laughs> Why did I just say oop like that? I think for me, being on a packed tube, I know that people have still been taking the tube, obviously if you live in central London and you need public transport to get around and you need to take the tube to get around, then people have haven't been having to do it. But I haven't taken the tube in like over a year and that's gonna feel really strange, like being in a crammed tube with loads of other people. I feel like I'm gonna be hyper conscious of germs. And then also as well, going to a concert. Can you imagine being in a stadium full of like 20,000 people? That is just gonna feel so strange. Even like sitting next to a stranger at a concert, it's just gonna feel really weird. And yeah, I just, I, I, it's, it's gonna be strange. And also I guess as well, like going on a plane, everything's just gonna feel weird. It's all gonna feel very strange. Right, I'm gonna end this here. My camera's about to run out of memory. I hope you guys are all doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye.